All right. The Evil Dusty Show. Let's fucking do it. Now gather on children. It's time for a tale. About a white-haired hero that you know very well. He tried to be good, but being good's for cocks. This world rewards evil, so he lost all his fucks. Now he revels in watching the fall of mankind. Searching the nets for all that he can find. And the daddy sexy force tune in to be. Dusty Show, and hell yeah, You're we got more evil die. to revel You're in tonight. In the trash world we should live in, holy shit, I've taken so much bitching from doing the Evil Dusty Show. First of all, those you don't like it, don't worry. I'm only doing this because it's Halloween. Right, I think. I don't, I don't know how colors work. But anyway, it, it's just temporary, probably. We'll see, but god damn it. Whiners, fucking whiners. Oh my god, Dusty, I don't like you being evil. Go watch something else. What the fuck? Quit whining. You just made me want to be more fucking evil. God damn it. Who are you going to go watch? Oh, you're going to go watch Vosh? You're going to go watch uh, what? What? Destiny? You're going to go watch uh, David Pagman? Fucking do it. You're not punishing me by going and watching people that are way more boring than I am. You're punishing your fucking self. I don't give a fuck. I'm evil. Do it. Make it hurt, motherfuckers. God damn it. Anyway, fuck everybody. Let's just start with that. Uh, Brothers, you just tuned in. I decided to become evil because the world rewards evil, and I am tired of being shit upon for being good. So now, uh, all evil all the time. It's for real, y'all. So hell yeah, it's not satire, no satire. It's totally real. And then uh, we have a band of misfit cats tonight. The floating cats. You better notice. Hey, I got my new evil layer. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you guys might have tuned to the last show and found out that I am the new spokesperson, one of the many of. Uh, the country of Israel. And so now I'm living in deep, dark uh, Jerusalem. And they just hooked me up with my uh, super new, cool, evil lair. Folks, I'm stoked, man. Like, uh, Michael Rappaport, his evil lair is like two doors down from mine. Jerry Seinfeld, well, Jerry Seinfeld's evil lair is, is way, way far from mine. His evil lair is much better than mine and Michael Rappaport's. But still, still, I'm moving on up in the evil echelon, everybody. But it's only temporary. I know eventually they're going to replace me with somebody more famous, you know, like Ricky Schroeder or something. But anyway, I'm going to do it on that last. Making the big, big bucks. That's definitely happened. Uh, being the new spokesman for Jerusalem and the IDF. So super cool and new evil floating cats, even more evil, 100% more evil than the last cats. If they'll come the fuck over here, let's see if I can entice any evil cats over here. Evil cats, evil cats, come over here and get some evil food. Oh, look, look who it is, everybody. It's Cece. She got her cone of shame taken off. Her uh, throat was like hanging out. They had to do surgery on her. She had the cone of shame for months and now she's so happy uh, living her best life again. Come on, buddy, come over here and get some. Come on. And uh, this, come on. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come on, motherfucker. This is Two Socks. This is the evil cat that uh, Jeff left with me. Jeff adopted this little guy. And then when Jeff moved off, he was like, you guys uh, have a new cat now. And uh, so this is Two Socks, a cat never seen before on the evil Dusty Show. Oh, and Cece's like, fuck you, Two Socks. These are my treats. Evil, like I told you guys. I did lie about it. So, hell yeah, super evil all the time. Uh, and if you love The World's Most Evil Show, uh, please consider supporting it on the Super Chats, the life of the show, the Super Chats, no questions touched, every question answered. The more evil, the better. Uh, by my love, there is a dollar sign. Boom. Uh, by the chat. Close this shit down. Fuck off. 
over here. There's a dollar sign. You see it? And uh, click it. And then donate money. And then I read everything you say. It's like Cameo, except cheaper, because I'm a cheap date. Uh, do it, do it. All right, cool. CC, love you, CC. Th good to have you back. Thanks for everybody for helping me get CC better. She's so happy now. She had that comb for so long, and now she's just living her best life. Pretty thing. Hell yeah. All right, let's kick off the uh, evil. Gonna start off with what I usually start off with. A little Chud Watch. Sing along, motherfuckers. Chud Watch. Woo. Talking about Chud Watch. Oh, we talk about Chud. Everybody sees. We make fun of them. Shadow Rick Black. Woo. Yeah, man, I love being evil. Even Jeff was like, man, I like the last show, Dusty. You seem more happy being evil. And I do, don't I? It's so much easier covering all this horrible stuff when you pretend like you like it. Yeah, I'm not all depressed all the time. Uh, evil, it's amazing. So first off, honor a cavalcade of evil. Another week, another uh, gaggle of Trump zombies or geniuses, the best among us. Let's have a look. What do you love most about the president? I think that... Uh... I think he actually tells the truth. Mm -hmm. For a, a, a rich man, I don't know that that's the most, I don't know if you'd really expect that, but I think he's been more truthful with us than most of the professional politicians have been in my lifetime. Yeah, he's an outsider, and an outsider understands the people. Yes, he does. I Total outsider, you know, forget the fact that every member of his cabinet is uh, as inside as you could possibly get. Yeah, you know, forget all that. Billionaires, definitely outsiders, and truthful, unlike most billionaires, Trump, Totally fucking truthful, uh, man, never told a lie, which is why when he said at the beginning of his recent trial, he has plenty of money to cover any damages. They ain't even got to worry about it. Uh, we all believed him, and he was telling the truth. What's that? He lied about that. Ah, it doesn't matter. Breaking Trump was able to get $464 million bond. Yeah, uh, you might remember he uh, got sued by New York for fraud. Once again, completely fucking honest. This honest man got wrongfully sued for fraud. And then the evil judge uh, looked through all his lies and said, hey, you defrauded New York. And then uh, he got a $464 million fraud judgment with his honest ass. And uh, then getting $100,000 of the interest a day, folks. And he'd been uh, trying to find somebody to put up the bond uh, and couldn't find anybody dumb enough to put up a bond for him. Shocking. Uh, it's almost like you should have spent your entire life fucking people out of money and uh, robbing people, looting, lying, breaking the... Nah, it's fine. Anyway, um, he did pay the E. Jean Carroll judgment. At least he put up the bond for it, which is $89 million, But he hit, he's a little bit short. He's like $350 million short. But he said he has it, folks. And he said he's a billionaire. So I'm sure this is just a technical error. It's all going to be ironed out any second now. Because he's too honest to have lied about this. I think we can all agree. And uh, I love it, folks. They've already donated $1.35 million to him. He, he's already a billionaire, according to them. Already completely fucking rich, but still in the uh, infinite money glitch. $1.4 million nearly from these zombies who just pile money on this guy. I mean, that's more money than I need to retire. I can literally live off the interest of that for the rest of my life. But when you're Trump, they just throw it fucking at you. Grab them by the pussy. Do whatever you want to. It's all good. All is forgiven. And you know what I think it is? His honesty. It just makes people want to give him so much fucking money. That's my problem. I'm not honest enough, but fuck honesty. Need to be more evil, Trump. Learn from me. Work it out. And uh, he has tried a little bit, folks. He's trying uh, to unleash his Hitler evil a little bit. Uh, here he is questioning whether immigrants are actually real humans or not. Years, and if you call them people, I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. But I'm not allowed to say that because the radical left says that's a terrible thing to say. That's right, folks. He's not allowed to say the thing that he is saying right now. Nobody will allow him to say this thing that he's saying in front of millions of people and nobody's stopping him whatsoever. But also, not allowed to say it. They say you have to vote against him because did you hear what he said about humanity? I've seen the humanity and these humanity, these are bad. These are animals, okay? And we have... Well spoken. I've seen the humanity and the humanity and these are animals. Yeah, dehumanizing your enemy. That's evil 101. So cool. More Hitler, please, Trump. 
That's what you need to get the votes. And uh, <laughs> then, folks, uh, he got caught on hot mic talking about uh, how much he loves Kim Jong Un. You know, genetic specimen, the best among us, Kim Jong Un. Yeah, yeah. Some people say he's a dictator. Some people say he's a brutal murderer. And uh, people only follow him out of fear that them and their families might be ripped to shreds by dogs or something. But no. This is exactly what uh, the Fuhrer Trump wants to happen in America, if you don't believe me. Let's listen. Are we close to seeing uh, Mr. Kim here at the White House? Uh, could happen. I could mean, they talked about yeah, that yesterday. I would, with I, would the yeah, I think it's something that could happen. Yeah. Hey, he's the head of a country, and I mean, he is the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. Don't he let him think. His people sit up at attention. I want my people to do right. the same. Well, yeah! I want the people of America to treat me like an evil, brutal dictator. <laughs> you might get your wish, Trump. Uh, Joe Biden seems to have his loyalty tied directly to Israel, not the United States. He might do nothing and let you win the presidency. And then you can just be whatever dictator you want to be, you know. But at least he'll be an honest dictator. I think we can all agree on that. The most honest dictator ever, Donald Trump. This is real life, folks. It's amazing. Love this timeline. It's the best of all the timelines. And uh, they got out there. And folks, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. And this is not just a bit because I'm evil now. I actually sort of agree with Republicans this week. So uh, Democrats, as we all know, are completely fucking feckless. Just complete goddamn dipshits. I've been so frustrated with these fucking pussies that, that I've guarded in my audience. That's the bad thing about uh, having a mostly left-wing audience. I, I'm sorry, you left-wings, I love you, but you're fucking pussies, okay? You're so offended by goddamn everything. It's ridiculous. You gotta walk on pins and needles all the goddamn time with you weak-ass sissy motherfuckers. Butch up, motherfuckers. God damn it. Anyway, uh, they out here, in my opinion, lying about Trump, which you don't have to lie about Trump, okay? Trump's a fucking dumpster fire. Uh, he, he completely puts his foot in his mouth all the goddamn time. There's a million things you can point out that he says that is completely uh, ridiculous, evil, hurtful, harmful. But this ain't one of them. This is something Democrats lied about all week. So Trump got it here and he's talking about, he's lying about the uh, auto industry and how Mexico is going to make a bunch of electric cars in Mexico and uh, they're planning on coming over to America and... Uh, selling the cars and he's talking about how he's going to put a tariff on all the fucking cars that come from mexico and if he doesn't win a presidency it's going to be a bloodbath in the auto industry it's 100 percent what he's talking about but the democrats have clipped the uh, clipped it out to where he only says it's going to be a bloodbath and they're like see see trump is threatening everybody with blood but he's not here he's literally talking about the audio auto industry and there's so many other clips of him legitimately calling for violence legitimately trying to encourage violence legitimately dehumanizing brown people so much you could call him out on this ain't it motherfuckers <laughs> Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That yeah, is he's, blood, he's threatening war and death, isn't he? Isn't he? Do, but he's not. He's not. This is just taken out of context. Here's the real clip, folks. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years, 34 percent of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it. Went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of so mine. He's clearly, very clearly, and specifically talking about the car industry and how the car industry is going to be a bloodbath. Uh, but yeah. Democrats taking him out of fucking context because they are also fucking worthless. They are also the worst among us. Yes, better, less evil than Donald Trump, but still 
ridiculous, shameless fucking human beings have to watch my timeline, who are almost entirely left-wing people, gaslight me about this fucking bullshit. And that angers me, too. I don't give a shit if you're conservative or you're a fucking left-winger. If you're gaslighting me, I'm fucking pissed. Fuck that shit. I don't have to be gaslit. I don't have to be fucking lied to, okay? That's insulting to my goddamn intelligence. But as an evil person, I, I kind of admire it a little bit. And uh, then you guys might have saw that uh, thin-skinned Elon Musk tried to lure Don Lemon, who Don Lemon fucking sucks, okay? Don Lemon never been a good journalist. But he, Elon Musk thought, hey, hey, uh, Don, Don Lemon worked for CNN. Uh, he's sort of respectable, he's a respectable journalist, at least a little bit. So I bet. If I agree to pay him a bunch of shit, uh, buy him with uh, 50 uh, pieces of silver, then he'll give me soft by interviews. And because people think that he's a real journalist and the fact that I aced this interview that he gave me, you know, it'll look like uh, I'm fucking awesome. I I'm badass. So I'm going to do it. So uh, Don Lemon, of course, is a, a piece of shit. You know, he's a, a crook. So uh, he asked for everything and the dog to sell out to Elon Musk. He asked apparently for a... $8 million salary with $5 million up front and a free Tesla Cybertruck, to which Elon Musk apparently agreed. He was like, yeah, that sounds fine. Whatever it takes, no amount of money to buy good press is too much money. And uh, so then after Don Lemon interviewed him, Elon Musk didn't like the fact that the interview wasn't quite as softball as he wanted it to be. So he immediately was like, wah, wah, and starts immediately trying to make fun of Don Lemon. But he already agreed to all the terms Don Lemon put out there. So he's basically making fun of himself. So he's like, Don, oh, Farouk ha, 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 ha. Definitely cutting edge. Leaked footage of Don Lemon negotiating his contract with X. She makes Don seem reasonable. Then why the fuck did you agree to it? Why did you agree to it before you got a slightly hard interview? The interview wasn't even hard. That's a thing. We're going to take a look at some of it at the after party. The interview was just a slight pushback. But it wasn't just a fawning let you say what the fuck you want to say with no pushback whatsoever. Too much for Elon. Bitching about it. This is so insane. Dylan would demand the sun, the moon, and the stars from SpaceX box. Then why did he agree to it? When life gives you lemons, yeah, you accept it immediately. And then you throw a fit about it when it doesn't go your way if you're Elon Musk. And he nonstop bitching. He's such a tool. Oh, my God. He's such a tool. He asked me a few tough questions. Weakness, uh, pussified, but that's how you become a billionaire in this country. You fuck everybody goddamn over, and then you whine about it every step of the way. Victim, that's all you have to be, a 24-7 victim, and rake the money in, folks. He knows how the game's played, and I, crazy part is, like, it's clear that Don Lemon got the best of him on, the, on this interview. Elon Musk can barely spit out a fucking sentence. He's not a smart guy. He's not an intelligent man. He's clearly a genius in business in some way, some way behind the scenes that we aren't privy to see. But every time he's ever spoken in public, it's complete fucking nonsense. It's porky pig stuttering all over the fucking place. Um, and same with the Don Lemon interview. Uh, but it doesn't matter, folks. It doesn't matter how obvious it is. He is wrong and stupid. His sickle fence worship him. As a, a modern day Tony Stark, a, a savior of us all. So let me play a very short clip and then I'm going to read you some of the contents, comments from his uh, worshipers. I believe that it, uh, if, if, we, if we lower the standards for what it takes to become a doctor. You're saying if we lower the standards, yes. but do you believe people are dying because the standards are being lowered? I, I don't or have think that lowered. is yes, an issue, but it could become an issue. Okay, well, he's lying right here. Clearly, all his posts are meant to insinuate. That DEI, diversity, uh, equity, and inclusion right now is lowering the standards and is causing massive problems in our country. Clearly, that's every post he makes. It's the black people get too many jobs. The women get too many jobs. The gays get too many jobs. It's definitely a problem. But now when he's questioned on it, he's like, I'm not saying it's happening. I'm just saying it could hypothetically happen. Just such a fucking pussy, coward-ass bitch, man. If you're going to push racism, if you're going to push sexism, if you're going to push homophobia, at least have the guts to stand up and back it what the fuck you said. Don't be such a goddamn cowardly, pasty fucking bitch, Space Karen. Uh, but it doesn't matter, folks. Worship. 
In woke news, Elon Musk tries to explain how lowering the standards for doctors could, could result in more deaths. And then they're like, Elon, you the best, Elon. Oh my God, Elon, my dad is just good God. I love it though. I love Elon Musk. I mean, he can literally be the biggest fucking piece of shit, coward, pussy he could possibly fucking be. He could literally talk out of both sides with his mouth, porky pig his ass right through the whole interview. And they're still like, oh, salami, salami, baloney. And that is the kind of worship uh, uh, that I aspire to. Get on it, dirty, sexy pores. I need that level of adoration, regardless of how horrible I am. I can't even make a joke about it being evil without you motherfuckers crying. Nah, shut the fuck up already, goddammit. Whining motherfuckers. And then, here's the I am out strong. I don't think Don Lemon is very smart. He fails to grasp a very simple concepts. Uh, but yeah, Elon having a diaper filling tantrum after being intellectually bested. He's like, on a chart that measure personality and intelligence, Lemon would be the worst quadrant stupid asshole. Then why did you agree to pay him $8 million to give him a free Tesla vehicle? Didn't you know all this before you did the interview? You literally didn't know nothing about Don Lemon before you did this interview. You knew zero about him. And then you did this interview and you discovered all this. But you agree to give $8 million and a Cybertruck. That's what you have. Okay, doesn't matter, folks. Doesn't matter how stupid what he's saying, how obvious it is, it's bullshit. He gets worshipped anyway, and that's amazing. Fuck yeah. Man, I got to up my cult leader status. I got to learn from the fucking best. These guys know how to do it way better than I do. Their sickle fans don't whine nearly as much as you motherfuckers. And, uh... That Guys, remember when Elon told us, I have to sell blue check marks, okay? Now, blue check marks used to mean uh, that you were verified as like a real company or a real celebrity. It was giving away free to people, uh, which gave uh, actually some authority to Twitter because you knew you weren't being conned and somebody wasn't uh, bullshitting who they were. But Elon was like, no, I have to change everything up. I have to sell Twitter blue checks for $8 a month because of the bots. It's the only way to stop the bots, folks. I'm definitely not doing this because Twitter is going bankrupt. I've already lost $40 billion. I'm desperate to find any way to monetize this site. No, it's because of the bots. Remember, he was talking to Stephen King, and uh, Stephen King was like, $20 a month? Fuck off. And Elon Musk was like, we need to pay the bill somehow. Twitter cannot rely entirely on advertisers. How about $8? I will explain the rationale in longer form before this is implemented. It is the only way to defeat the bots and trolls. Remember, remember, that's why he did it. And then, uh, yeah, now we have uh, bots out of control. More bots than ever on Twitter. And they're like, Elon, I'll pay $20 a month. Fix the pussy in bio problem. That's a big problem now. Every comment now has bots that say pussy in bio. You're supposed to click on their bio and look at their pussy. I don't want to see no bot pussy, okay? All right, I, uh, I, I, I don't want to see it. Anyway, so then Elon's like, Stopping crypto porn spam bots is not easy, but we're working on it. I thought the blue check marks was going to fix it, Elon. I thought that was the whole point. It doesn't matter, though, folks. I saw through it. I saw through it, and, uh, oh, what the fuck? Okay. Hey, Cece. How you doing, baby? How we doing? Want to go over here and say hello to everybody? Yeah, Miss Evil Cece got the prettiest green eyes. She's so happy to be out of her cone of shame, aren't you? Let's see how your neck is. Looking better, baby. Yeah, it was gross as fuck. I thought you was going to die, but you didn't die, did you? Your ears all wrinkled up. Yeah, you such a pretty baby, aren't you? Yeah, all right. And go have fun. Go have evil fun. And all right, that is my, uh... Chud watch. Hell yeah, we did it. Rock that shit out. Blame Hamas. I do blame Hamas for everything. Fucking CC, Hamas. Stuck my toe earlier. Hamas. You're everywhere, all over the fucking place. I want to see bot pussy. Ah, man. I, there, there's so much pussy for free on the internet. Why would anybody go to Twitter to see a bot's pussy? You know, I don't know. Maybe it was real life. Like uh, in that movie, uh, Machina, whatever that fuck's name, Deuce Machina, where the fuck that movie's name is, that hot-ass bot, maybe that I'd be interested in. Otherwise, no thank you. CC is so precious. She's all right. She has her moments. Damn Mike to the nuts. Yep, it's crazy with floating cats. You never know what's going to happen. That's what makes this show so evil and exciting. And all right, get your Super Chats in, folks. We're going to do religious bullshit, and then we're going to do Beyond Parody. And uh, then we're going to read the Super Chats. So let's do it. Sing along, give you know the words. Religious bullshit, really? 
Ex Machina, whatever. Religious bull and motherfucking shit. It's time for religious bullshit. Everybody sing. It's time for religious bullshit. Motherfucking bull and bullshit. Boom. And uh, first off, folks, on religious bullshit, all this is going to sound ridiculous, but it's true. We've also seen time reversal miracles where a body part goes back in time, like 30 years. Yeah, it wow. happens. So I'm in Nebraska, wow. and the Lord said to me, in heaven, there's no time, right? No I go, time. yeah. Yeah, Lord, obviously. I preach on that. Well, there's a man here about in his 70s. He's mm -hmm. had several heart attacks, oh, shit. Stints, stints, surgeries. Damn. Command his heart to go back 30 years. Mm -hmm. wow. So I just declare it, not knowing who it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I ask them to check, you know, is there anyone here? And this man comes up. He had, oh. It was him, 72 years 72. old. Heart surgery. He even had scars. Yeah. Not only was he healed, he mm -hmm. didn't feel the stints in his heart. Uh -uh. He opened his shirt up, and all the cuts from the surgeries were gone. Really? So then you took him to a doctor to have this verified? You had a cell phone, and you took video. You took pictures. You have... Some kind of documented evidence this person exists and you're just not a lying comment that's making... No, no, you... Okay, I'm shocked, I tell you. And I, and I said, Lord, 30 years back, and that was right a few years before you ever what? had heart problems. So it's like... Praise time, Jesus. Like the sun stood still with Joshua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So time reversals. Time reversals. So how you do it is you go in the glory realm, as we talked yep. about last show. Now you're in the timeless realm. Yep. And then once you're there, you, you, have, you have time travel. You know, you can command things to come back and forth because you're in a timeless realm. God damn it, somebody is shitting here. Motherfucker, you guys have only been here like 10 seconds. Now I gotta do this whole rest of this fucking show smelling your goddamn shit. You fucking evil motherfuckers. God damn it. Ah, no. Nah, it stinks. Mother shit. Fuck, god damn it. What the hell? I knew it was gonna be a goddamn fucking disaster having these evil motherfuckers in here. Shit. I don't want to smell your shit on the show. I'm already in a fucking bad enough mood. I have to deal with all this fucking bullshit. God damn it. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway. Jesus, if you're listening, please. Reset time. Rewind it back to about 10 minutes before they shit in my fucking room. Jesus, if you're real, please. Please. I don't want to smell this shit for my entire goddamn... Pro please. All right. I guess Jesus not on my side today. Fuck you, Jesus. God damn it. Why you save an old man with heart stints and you won't save me from cat shit? Fuck. Anyway, whatever. Whatever goddamn universe. Evil fucking cats. And all right, uh... That all oh, religious bullshit. Folks, I got a very serious question. Can Christians use pronouns? Can they use pronouns? Join me this week's episode of the Autumn Bregman Show as we delve into this topic of pronouns and so much more. I think I already know the answer to this. Apparently, Christians can use pronouns on account of, you know, um, the fact that you're fucking doing it right now. How do pronouns work? It, just ridiculous. We've regressed so much as a society that now just teaching basic English, like we all learn in like junior high, fourth grade, is now wokeness. It's evil. Even Christians can't use basic English anymore. And uh, here's how far they're going with it, folks. Here's how ridiculous our society has become. My son's class was learning the pronoun song, which has nothing to do with trans people. This has been going, this has been happening for 50 years, this fucking song that just teaches kids the basic pronouns, you know, English, the most basic forms of English to learn pronouns. And supposedly last year, an angry parent flipped out about it and yelled at the front desk saying her four-year-old was too young to learn about sex. And they had to explain that pronouns are a part of speech. Don't sexualize my kids by teaching them basic English. I hope they don't get that. Adverbs. I will riot if they fucking teach adverbs. Oh, hell no. Uh, participles? No, you don't teach no part of fucking simples. I don't abide. I'll wreck this whole motherfucker. And that on religious bullshit. Folks, the most American clip perhaps I've ever fucking played on this show, okay? For the first time ever, Fox and Friends on Fox, they stopped their programming to pray. But, 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 that's not even the worst part of this. The prayer they're doing is literally an ad for this app that they're advertising, folks. They're literally using prayer on Fox News as advertising. Oh my God, the most capitalistic thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's have a look. And here we go. 
We have more Fox and Friends coming up, but you know what? <laughs> this is a transition for transitions if you've ever had one. So, so, so Fox and Friends. This is very Fox and Friends, so very ready your heart. It's the fifth Sunday of Lent, and our prayer series continues with a reading of prayer from the Hallow app. We all need it. Let's do it this morning. Close your eyes, if you would. Bow your head. Jesus, today we begin the holy period of Passion Tide. In these last two weeks of Lent, help us understand the mystery of your sacrifice and surrender. Make us keenly aware of your love for us. We ask that you make yourself known to us. Help us to feel the grace of your presence. You journey to the cross for our sake. May we see ourselves the way you see us and come to believe that we are worthy of your abounding love. In these final days of Lent, help us to follow your holy example. Inspire in us the same sacrificial, selfless love, selfless love you showed on the cross. Oh, Jesus, we surrender oh, ourselves Jesus. to you. I surrender. Take care of everything. Take care, Jesus. Thank you again to Hallow for this partnership during Lent. Amen. Amen. Brought to you by the Hallow app. <laughs> Yay, folks, we've hijacked Christianity for commercialism and not a goddamn Christian cares a fucking single bit. The fakest people of the planet. Yeah, how is this not blasphemy, okay? How is this not against every fucking thing that the Bible Christianity stands for? But yeah, you guys will eat it up. You guys will love it. You fucking boomers, I love you. I love you. You're so easy to fool. You're so easy to manipulate. You'll buy fucking anything. You don't actually care about anything. Fuck God, you guys are the best. And uh, that, folks, here, uh, I've already covered so many of these, right? Just a few of the men of God arrested for child sex abuse since last fall. This is less than a year, folks. Look at this fucking list. Less than, this is not, a, not just one page, there's five pages of this. And this is not even all of them, folks. Look how many people are raping your kids. And I just got to say, so you're telling me that you can have completely innocent drag queen story hours where people can come and bring their kids to harmlessly get entertained by drag queens reading stories to them, but you can't even rape kids anymore in the church? What? I, I can't stand this world Christianity. I thought this was America, all right? They they coming for your Christianity, folks. They're coming for your Christianity, all right? Now, raping kids has been an intricate part of Christianity from the very fucking beginning. Child brides, your children are supposed to be your property to sold out, be sold off as you see fit, okay? I can't abide by this, y'all. People were wondering, hey, Dusty, how are you going to handle pedophilia and still be evil? You can't just advocate for pedophilia. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm against pedophilia, all right? I hate kids. The last thing I would do is fuck with a fuck your annoying kids, all right? Never. But at the same time, I thought this was America. You got to let Christians be Christians, right? Am I right? I'm not right. Fuck y'all. And that is my religious bullshit. Finish off on a happy note, as we always do in the World's Most Evil Show. Daughters getting their father's drug to sleep with them. Yeah, only God's special chosen people get to be really important to get away with incest in the Bible. And uh, how many of them are youth pastors? 50% at least. Solid 50. If you all knew what past popes got up to, oh, I know, and I am for it. The best among us, as always. Hallowed be thy name. Hell yeah, thy kingdom come. If you know what I mean. America and uh what's BBC's pay? It's hard being the sexiest man alive. Shh, don't even get me started. The more evil I get, the more the world will seem to reward me. I can't even fucking believe how much I've been rewarded since I've been evil, y'all. It's uh not surprising though. I've witnessed it for years and years and years. I'm just happy to finally be a part of it. Grabbed by the non pussy. Hell yeah. Evil dust. They ain't no forgive the cell train. You must die in a pit of fire. Or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. And uh, you are so evil, Dusty. Psh, I just got to be me, y'all. Totally, totally not pretending. And, hey, look at my Israel flags in the back. Hell yeah, about to do a... I can't say free Palestine anymore. That's not what it's called. It's called Israel has a right to defend itself. And folks, you want to see a super cool trick? If you pull down on your shirt, it makes your arm look more muscular. Look at that. Look, you got to pull down hard. Pull down hard, see? 
awesome. That's an evil trick for you guys from me to you. I don't know why this arm over here is so much bigger than this arm. Now, yes, this is my masturbation. Look how little this arm is. This was fucking tiny. This was like medium. Why? I mean, I don't even masturbate like that. I don't get it. It's weird. You're weird. Anyway, beyond parody. Beyond the parody. Boom. All right. First off, off tonight's a beyond parody. <laughs> God, I can't even get this one out with a straight face. Folks, you know what I love? Um, L Lynn Magarel, right? Whatever his name is, this Lynn Magarel guy. Uh, he's amazing. Some of you might say this is just uh, I don't know. Uh, I was gonna say uh, war crimes. That's pretty close. Um. Cultural appropriation. This is just cultural appropriation, but like he is like a sort of brownish. So back when I was woke as fuck, I was like, um, I can't say anything about this because uh, other left wing people seem to like him. They seem to like this uh, bullshit he's doing. They seem to think it's good. And even though I can immediately tell this is awful, bad, and cringe, I better keep my fucking mouth shut lest I get disowned by other left-wing people. But now that I'm evil, I can just outright say it. This dude sucks. Everything about this sucks. Um, and uh, anyway, what makes it worse is he's already taken something that was fucking horrible, something that was cringe-inducing, something that was terrible in every goddamn way, and somehow found a way to make it worse. This time he's changed his raps to be about Hillary Clinton. Warning for those accessible to cringe induced injuries. Watch Hillary examine the terrain. Watch a campaign with the man Tim Kaine. Ah, uh, Tim Kaine in the membrane. Tim Kaine in the brain. Hell no. Four. Hillary makes each decision. Looking at the world from a rarefied position. A public servant with tenacity, agility. Mi gente, experience is not a liability. Five. Now we all know. This is the time when the yep. other side tries to fly low, we go high. We know that our Hillary's no quitter. We watch as our opponent sits and fiddles with his Twitter. Confession time. Okay, I think I speak of everybody when I say, please die immediately. What the fuck is this? God damn it. Fucking Hillary Clinton sucks. Why do you goddamn Democrats keep shoving this bitch down our fucking throats? This fucking evil cunt. This Israeli sh fucking shrew. God damn it, this is so irritating. Fucking Democrats, feckless motherfuckers all the goddamn time. Why won't you evolve to something better, okay? Fucking Hillary, of all the things you can be rapping about, okay, I guess Hillary's the best thing you can be rapping about because it's as shitty as this fucking rap is. Just all of you, go towards the light, fucking die immediately, death, death, death to all of you. Holy God. And uh, I agree with this fucking... Post politics in America is cool. You vote for Democrats and they win elections, but Republicans still get everything they want. Then the Democrat leadership will email you something like, We are in disbelief. And a link of a video of Lynn Manuel Miranda rapping about how much he loves America. 100%. That's what happened, folks. This is this from last year. This is like a fucking soothsayer. Pick this shit out. Yeah. Hillary Clinton and Hamilton's Lynn Manuel Miranda are reportedly stepping into the spotlight for President Biden's campaign. Oh, my God. Just every single one of you go in a car together and somebody crash the car. Go in a plane, a Boeing, preferably, and smash into a side of a goddamn mountain. Please explode into millions of pieces, all of you feckless fucks. And then, on Beyond Parody. I love boomer posts like this on Facebook, y'all. Uh, it's They're fucking amazing. Uh, <laughs> if they only knew... But our job is to make sure they don't. That's right. Conservative dads everywhere got to make their daughters feel safe and never know the dangers of uh, science and gays. That's right. Science and gays. And I love how the fact that his crotch is underwater with all the gays. Just saying. The short gays chomping on his nuts. And I bet he likes a little bit, but don't let the daughter know. And also, fuck science, obviously. And then... Could all this shit be rigged? I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but yes. 
Hamilton rules. I know you're just trolling me. Hamilton is the worst shit since AIDS, okay? AIDS is better. I'd rather get AIDS all over my nutsack. I'd rather swallow a big glass of fucking AIDS than watch Hamilton for one second. Fuck you and fuck Hamilton. And that... Folks, uh, did you hear that wokeness died because of boobs? Yes, we know this. I covered it. Uh, but here's the best part about it. Uh, so conservatives... They will make themselves believe anything. Even if they get information that goes completely 100% against their narrative, they will use that information to double down on their narrative. Case in point. Remember this girl's boots? Wokeness is dead. Wokeness is dead, y'all. And then uh, this same chick who killed Wokeness went to an LGBTQ event and showed her boobs. And also that somehow proved Wokeness is dead. Yeah, even though she herself is woke and went to a woke event, just because they let her woke boobs into the woke event means that woke's dead. Liberals have lost control of even the gayest institutions. I don't know what the fuck. It's like, why do they think the left is against boobs? They're constantly bitching about how the left makes women slutty and not trad and that women are dressing too provocatively because of feminism. And then a woman dresses provocatively and they're suddenly like, wokeism is dead, y'all. And yeah, Nazis seeing a white woman with big breasts. Wow, wokeness is dead for reasons I cannot explain nor do I understand. Nazis seeing the same white woman advocating for wokeness, thus proving him wrong. <laughs> Turns out I was right. But of course, nothing they say means anything. Uh, they get paid for engagement, so uh, the more ridiculous it is, the more they get paid, and uh, I honor that. Great business plan, Eli Musk. Hamilton is 110% shit. You missed like a, a 90 more percent. It's at least 200% shit. Boobs are great. Oh, that reminds me, folks. You know what I watched? Madam Webb. Speaking of those big boobs, I watched Madam Webb. Not in 3D or anything, because uh, it's not released on 3D yet. Apparently, they made a 3D version, but I haven't seen it yet. And if... I watch it, it turns out that it's actually good in 3D. That means that 3D can fix anything because this movie was fucking horrible. Like, literally, I'm not going to say the worst movie I've ever seen, but the worst high-budget movie I've ever seen. Even the actors and the actresses in the movie didn't seem like they wanted to be in the movie. Like, this guy trying to kill them would be chasing them, murdering cops as he's chasing them, and they'll be like, hey, guys, maybe we should run. And, and then the main character's like, shh. You guys always want to run. Fine, let's run. And then they just half heartedly run away. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? This is not believable. I know it's a Marvel movie, but still, not good. And anyway, uh, did you guys see uh, Ethan Klein uh, go on the Fresh and Fit program and own them? Now, I don't particularly like Ethan Klein very much because I think he's a pro Israel shill, and I am not for that. Also, it seems like his wife is sort of a. Uh, you know. Anyway, uh, I do agree with him here. Everything he said here, he did own them. Let's have a watch. Do you guys usually erase your videos? Like you erased, um, there was a video from yesterday you guys uploaded and then erased. Which one was that? What? This ain't the fucking clip. God damn it. I thought this was the short clip. Where the fuck's the short clip, motherfucker? This ain't it. Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck Ethan Klein. We'll skip it. And, uh, oh, they <laughs> Now, haters are going to say this guy is stupid, but I don't think he's stupid. I just think he's a fucking liar, and that's how you make money. Hey, one thing I know is I've tried hard to be honest on this show up till recently and to be a good guy for like five or six years. I never once got invited to Joe Rogan. You know how much money you make getting invited to fucking Joe Rogan? This guy, uh, he can live for the rest of his life. They don't have to work again just for his appearance on Joe Rogan. So just saying, I don't think he's stupid. He's just evil and lying which apparently is good. He's getting rewarded for it. Anyway, uh, here he is explaining, James Lindsay, uh, why China is transing our kids in America. China is the model. We're seeing it build out in the West. Mm -hmm. This stuff, like, we, we, we now are seeing proof. It just came out the other day. Proof. The Chinese are, like, funding the trans stuff. I mean, I looked this up, folks, and I literally could not find what the fuck he was talking about. Zero news about any uh, Chinese funding the trans issue. In fact, uh, trans people are not accepted in China. You can't even get the medication you want in China. They are not pushing this in any fucking possible way, but that doesn't matter, folks, because you're about to hear Joe Rogan say, yeah, and agree with him, even though there's no evidence, uh, none of this is true whatsoever, but it doesn't matter. An idiot like James Lindsay goes on Joe Rogan, the most popular podcast in the world, uh, says bullshit, and then Joe Rogan's like, yeah, and then all the idiots that are watching him uh, assume is true because why would joe rogan the most highest paid podcast in the world just lie his ass off he wouldn't do that so it's got to be right 
They're like yes. pushing yes. it, right? I just wrote a book. I didn't even know that to put it in the book. I wrote a I book about that, the trans stuff. True. It just came out on the 29th um, called The Queering of the American Child to talk oh, about how my. schools have mm-hmm. been turned into like indoctrination centers. Definitely it happens. It all goes back to the not just Marxist but Maoist mm-hmm. strategy mm-hmm. to make the, the world – conform that mm-hmm. politics of compliance to make the world conform to this new ideological vision that they have and that's right folks china all about the trans people and they're trying to make us all trans so we conform to marxism it's just crazy enough to work i believe him look how honest and handsome he is super cool joe rogan and that oh and beyond parody Man, there are so many things you could legitimately shit on Joe Biden for. But here's the funny part. We have a two-party system where both parties are uh, trying to outdo each other on evil. That Republicans can't even call him out for the shit that they should call him out for. You know, all the child murders. But it turns out conservatives are actually more in favor of the child murders than uh, child murdering Joe Biden is. So they can't actually call him out for any of that shit. So instead, they resort to calling him out for shit like enjoying ice cream i should you not they made a float in wisconsin mocking joe biden for liking ice cream y'all my name is joe biden i'm dr joe biden's husband and i ate jenny's ice cream we are a very chip. serious people i came down we definitely don't deserve a comet destroying our entire fucking planet I'm over yay i mean you could have him on there like murdering children that would be a a, a correct call out uh, but eating ice cream uh, that ain't it and remember earlier when i said that democrats were lying about donald trump which is ridiculous because there's plenty of things you could call him out for that's not lying well of course republicans do the exact goddamn same thing to joe biden uh plenty of child murders to calling him out for but no they're for that so instead they have to lie and make shit up case in point that biden doesn't know what on earth he's doing or at times where he even is. There you have it, folks. Biden completely lost. He's out of it. He has Alzheimer's. Doesn't know where he is. And there is no possible way that Fox News edited this clip and cut it off at a very important point. Is there? So here's the Fox News clip. Poor Joe Biden, all confused, looking around, doesn't even know where he's at. Only. And that's the angle. That's the angle. Only here's the real clip. And he turns around. He's like, hey, there you are. Come over here. Yay. I was looking for you. Let's all clap. So we actually knew exactly where he was. He was just looking for this woman so they could cheer for her. But <laughs> Fox News uh, legitimately went to court and argued that there are not a news organization that don't actually tell the truth, and they don't. And they make billions of dollars by lying, which is amazing. I think we can all agree. Hooray for our system. Walk to the light anyway. I know, right? Go towards the light, Biden, please. Compare Biden to Trump to Bernie Sanders, who is sharp, took Fox to school today. Yep. Agreed. And that is my Beyond Parody section. We're rolling right through it tonight. Ice cream is too woke, especially if he likes vanilla. Fuck vanilla. I think we can all agree. Vanilla woke. I prefer like chocolate, BBC chocolate. Cats are lazy ass freeloaders. They're definitely shitters. That's for sure. How dare Biden look at a flag? He's supposed to hug it and pretend to kiss it. Biden needs some spray on hair. That's what I got. Look at my fucking shit. Look how full my head of hair is. Definitely not because of hair powder, y'all. It's 100%. Look, would you look? If I hit it, it would dust up like a fucking wig from a 1800s British politician. See that shit? You see that shit? Yeah. Fucking cool, motherfuckers. That's how you know you're cool when you have powder in your hair. Rocky Road. I love Rocky Road. Weird Al, yo. Thanks, Rupert Murdoch. Another motherfucker needs to go to Towards the Light. Froger, pretty good. A little bit healthier, slightly. Oh, coffee? Yeah, coffee, ice cream, good as shit. Those are mites, I know, right? I got diseases, y'all. 
You damn sexy beast, Dusty. I know it, right? Watch me pull my shirt down and make my arm look bigger. Look, watch that. Look, look how big my arm looks when I do that. Push it forward. Yeah, muscles, baby. I'm not cheating. You're cheating. Fuck yeah. Mm. Piped up. All right. Move right along, folks. Last chance to get your super chat to end before the halftime. But for now, it's time for. What the fuck? Oh, what's what the fuck? Easy enough. The fuck is it? Oh, here it is. What the fuck? Boom. And uh, first off on tonight's What the Fuck? So somebody sent me this clip, and I do not know if this girl is faking or not, nor do I care. Regardless if she's faking or not, this is amazing because this made it to CNN. Uh, have you seen the girl who has uh, Tourette's? Um, some people think she's a fake. Some people think she really has Tourette's, but she's gone viral uh, for telling people to go fuck themselves live on television, and I love it. Let's have a look. I thought she was just a great comedic actor and, you know, doing blue material, whatever you want to call it. Corinne, uh, who does all the styling here, said, no, you're wrong. This is the real deal. Then my 13-year-old, Cha-Cha, said, no, this is who she is. And then Dusty said it. And everybody Dusty said it. it. But me. Uh, and now I'm totally devoted to what she's doing because it's so brave. And I'm not going to censor her. Yeah, she's going to say some things. Some things. You would not want to say yourself, let alone have said to you. I would. Which is probably going to be my position. I'll say it all. But as I told Balin just moments ago, she's not going to say anything to me that my whole team hasn't wanted to say since the day that they met me. But I love the bravery, and I love that we can get through the stigma and just treat somebody with decency because we all deserve it. And Balin Dupree joins us now. All right, kid, thank you very much for coming on. And what do you hope you can do by taking the risks that you take so people can understand what you're dealing with? I'm sorry, do you mind repeating the question? Fuck off. Why do you, what do you want people to learn? Um, I want people to learn that um, Tourette's is neuro, is a neurological involuntary motor and vocal disorder. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Um, I don't tick 24 seven and there's a lot of little baby babies, fuck off. Fuck you, Chris. There's a lot of things that people don't understand like People think that cussing is in, is with everyone who has Tourette's syndrome, but it's only in 10% of people with Tourette's. <laughs> and how has it been as you've gotten more famous? Do you believe that people are understanding better or are they dopes like me who think you're acting? I say it's, I say it's the same. <laughs> I think there's a lot more people that don't understand what Tourette's is and... Um, they like to educate themselves more. So I get thousands of DMs from parents, from teachers, from <laughs> girls that have been diagnosed with Tourette's and they've had to be kicked out of school for attention seeking because they rip up, they rip up their homework or do things like that. I've had parents reach out to me asking me, oh, my son's coming home with a girlfriend and his girlfriend has Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> So, and then I also get very evil people that will comment and say, like, go fuck yourself, Chris, lick your baby mean and blow up your ass, put your own biscuit, fat ass, that have told me that my parents deserve to die in a car accident to because crack up. I'm faking my condition, or people have told me that, like, I've had to have the police at my house because people gave out my location and said they're going to come torch my house. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Here's the thing, clinically, people suck and they're mean and they're stupid and they try to make themselves feel better by going after others. Okay. And you are the antidote, my young friend, because you have my kids, <laughs> you have my kids repeating your lines so that it's almost become cool and not because, you know, it's raunchy, it's because you're being real and you're living your truth. And they love it. They love the bravery of it. And so do I. And I love how you've changed your mission. You were at university. COVID was tough for you, tougher than for most, right? Really blew up your symptoms. And now you want to be a physical therapist because exercise helps you and you believe it's a way that you can help others. A personal trainer, right? 
Yes, so I go to the gym five days a week and I go to a workout class, um, splitting it throughout the week. Um, I love exercise. My boyfriend got me into it. Um, I've been doing it for about a year now. Um, yeah. I love it. It's my it's my release. Um, I obviously go to the gym and I wear headphones, and that's also obviously. a very big factor in how. <laughs> fuck off, fuck Colin, fuck that bitch. Um, that's also a really big like part in my journey was starting out with him. Her boyfriend is like a goober. <laughs> Well, I love seeing him in the videos. You guys have a great bond. I love everything about your family, and I love the story you're telling the people and living your truth. You're and done. my kids. You're done. My, you know what? I am done. I got to go to phone calls because they're blowing up with support for you. Blow so I hope you can watch it at home and listen to everybody who wants to say great things to you. Bailey so what you guys think? Real or not, I lean towards fake. It's the internet. Everything's fake on the internet. But still pretty entertaining. At least you got to tell Cuomo to fuck off. And I'm all here for that. I think we can all agree. And uh, that. <laughs> you got to about this one. Oh, what the fuck? I don't even know what this is about, y'all. Russia crazy as shit. So Russians are over there like, hey, you know what we should have? We should have a game that's like basketball. But let's say we need some different type of rules. Let me think, what can we do? How about... Just randomly, you can suplex your fellow players. That'd be awesome. And it's like, I like that idea, but we need something else. How about you can only suplex them after you take your shirt off? And the other guy was like, comrade, that's fucking genius. Going to be the biggest sport in history. And then the next thing you know, that's what they're doing. Take your shirt off, suplex. Take your shirt off, suplex. Put my shirt on, suplex! Shirts off, suplex! And I don't understand why the guy who's getting suplexed is not immediately like, hey, that guy just took his shirt off. I'm about to get suplexed. Maybe I want to uh, get in a better position so I do not get suplexed while I'm playing this basketball game. Anyway, uh, seems needlessly, needlessly violent, but I love it. And the new sport of those of us who are evil. I'm going to go start playing any day now. The one game chiropractors love. And uh, this from the old videos file, I know this is old and I love it because old is evil. I think we can all agree. Anyway, uh, this lady decided to steal the laundry cart Sitting at the, the laundry, laundry? because why wouldn't you just steal the fucking laundry cart? That just I'm privileged. The entire world belongs to and me. Now she's trying to take this poor ass laundry mat, laundry probably barely mats. getting by, cart. literally working for quarters. I'm just going to steal their shit for no fucking reason. I wonder if Karma's going to bite her in the ass. Let's have a look. She's driving a doggone BMW. I know. And she shuts it and then, boom! Uh (laughs) (laughs) I mean, at this point, just keep it. That's what you get. You already broke your windows out. I can't believe this. I believe it. Believe it, motherfucker. Stealing. Yeah. Why are you putting it back? You already broke your shit. Just keep it. No, it costs us so much. Because that window is yep. not going to be cheap. What did we learn? Nothing. You know, there's a thing called karma. Yep, going to do some stupid shit again karma. next time. Leaving people's stuff alone. Greedy bitch. And that on what the fuck. Man, AI is getting so good, y'all. It's getting fucking amazing. It can watch videos now, and it can, in real time, add commentary to it. Uh, this one... Watched this dude via his webcam and then narrated his life as though it were David Attenborough. Here's a quick demo of what happens when David Attenborough narrates your life. On the left, I'm going to start my camera, which every five seconds uh, takes a photo from my webcam. On the right, I'm going to start David Attenborough. And now... As I move around, he... Here we have a remarkable specimen of Homo sapiens, distinguished by his silver circular spectacles and a mane of tousled curly locks. He is wearing what appears to be a blue fabric covering, which can only be assumed to be part of his mating display. Look closely at the subtle arch of his eyebrow. It's as if he's in the midst of an intricate ritual of curiosity or skepticism. The backdrop suggests a sheltered habitat, possibly a communal feeding area or watering hole.
David is watching. Ah, in its natural environment, we observe the sophisticated Homo sapiens engaging in the critical ritual of hydration. This male individual has selected a small cylindrical container, likely filled with life-sustaining H2O, and is tilting it expertly towards his intake orifice. Such grace. Such poise. That's fucking badass, y'all. I cannot wait to this sh show does the show for me i'm gonna have the world's most evil fucking ai it's gonna make so many people whine and cry about the goddamn show i cannot wait the evil is just getting started and um speaking of evil you guys know who the most famous porn star of all time is and it's gina jameson in case you were wondering uh anyway god damn it time time is a cruel bitch look what time hath wrath upon gina jameson no jenna no what so apparently uh, she's an alcoholic and um, then she drank alcohol so much that her legs quit working, which seems bad. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, Gina Jameson feeling old yet. And I don't know. Somehow she's hotter over here, probably because of my grandma fetish uh, and the walker. That just does it for me. So God damn it, age. Fuck. I don't I mean, I'm glad it passed me over. Somehow I'm getting better look with age. It uh, doesn't seem to be the case with most people. But I'll fucking take it. That's what being evil gets you. Yeah, I know. Whoa. Holy shit. Yeah, that's the reason I'm showing it. Exactly. Exactly. And ha! Big grandma over the walker. I think we can all agree. Get all up in that. Look at that. She's got a big ass now. Her ass is bigger, right? We're into that, I think. Everybody agree? You're sad. Don't drink a lot of alcohol, folks. Minimal alcohol. And, uh, that. Did you guys hear about this crazy shit? Over there in uh, Taiwan. Uh, so this motherfucker convinced his friend to uh, cut his legs off. Yeah. A university student in Taiwan who had his legs amputated in hopes of receiving a $1.3 million insurance payout has been arrested on suspicion of fraud, local prosecutor said. The 23-year-old identified by his last name, Zong, plunged his feet in a bucket of dry ice for over 10 hours, there's your problem, uh, to get them so badly frostbitten that he would need to have a double amputation, the Taiwan Criminal Investigation Bureau said in a Thursday release. The bureau said a friend, not a good friend, of Zhang's from high school, identified only as Lyle, persuaded him to carry out uh, the insurance scam. Lyle, also 23, suffered losses from trading cryptocurrency. Fucking idiots. Only dumbasses buy crypto. And he tricked Zhang into signing a legal note obligating him to pay about 800000 per investigator. She should have just gave him the little finger, told him to fuck off, and then kept her feet. That's what I would have done. According to the local media outlets, Taiwan News, Lao told Zhang that gangsters were pursuing him, as they do. On January 26, uh, 2023, Lao and Zhang rode around Taipei on a motorbike at night, wanting to present the claim that Zhang was afflicted with frostbite while riding the vehicle in the late evening. God damn it, these guys are stupid. Yeah, I was just riding around a motorcycle. That's why I got frostbite so bad you had to cut my feet off. Totally believable. Just days before, Zhang bought several expensive life insurance, travel insurance, and accidental insurance policies, prosecutors said. Hey, not suspicious at all. After their motorbike ride, Zhang soaked his feet in dry ice and was admitted to hospital per investigators, but medical staff said something was amiss. Yeah, no shit. While assessing him, his legs bore no shoes or sock marks, and his injuries appeared symmetrical which were inconsistent with a naturally occurring frostbite injury, investigators said. The weather on the night of January 26th was also nowhere close to below freezing, with its coldest temperature above 42 degrees. Oh, my God. As Taiwan is a subtropical region. Holy fuck, these guys are so stupid. Anyway, they uh, emptied his legs below the calf due to his frostbite, uh, but his case was reported to the authorities, and uh, then they put him in jail. So not only did he not get any money, he also got a lengthy prison sentence. Bad life decisions. This is how not to do evil. If you're going to do evil, do it like Donald Trump, okay? Do it smart, y'all. And uh, then, you guys ready to see some more crazy shit about getting old? So, in 1964, this is what 39-year-old men look like. I shit you not. Look at this guy. This guy's 39. Folks, I'm 49. I'm 40. This guy's a decade younger than I am. What the fuck? What is happening? How is this what, this what people look like in the last iteration? When you're 30, you look 100? I don't even understand. Is that just hard living? 
I, I got questions, y'all. Anyway, uh, this is from a movie. Um, what is the movie? A James Bond movie. Oh. Living spy novel. Goldfinger. It's a different Goldfinger. So, uh, yeah. No, I know, right? Crazy. Imagine sitting in dry ice for 10 hours. I do not want to do that. No, thank you. It's the smoke in. Hey, I smoked some fucking weed all got the time. 10 years younger than me. I mean, at the very least, we look the same age, but I think maybe mm, other than the white hair, I got to edge that a little bit, a little bit, but anyway, crazy. And uh, lead paint. All of it. Life was hard back in the olden days. And uh, one more. No, that's it. That is all about what the fuck. Hell yeah. All right, it's time to do the super chats. Why did I not... Where is the fucking goddamn... I don't even know where... I guess I deleted it. I'm stupid. Anyway, don't matter. Hey, folks, I have a uh, patron. It is in the link in the description of this video, my patron account. Uh, I, there's exclusive content, all kinds of things. Uh, if you like the show, if you enjoy the evil, please support it. I know I'm making the big uh, bucks from Israel now, but I'm not really. So help me out and the floating cats out and become a patron. Thank you in advance. I hate you. And all right, let's uh, go ahead and read the super chats. Let's see how we're doing tonight. What the fuck? Scroll up, motherfucker. Here we go. Let's do it. Jason asked me one couple of the bishop. Thank you, Jason. Take my money, evil friend. I will, Demonite's plays. Thank you for your evil. Uh, welcome to us, buddies. A year, Super Bowl Joe. Hell yeah, you're one of the good ones. Five more from Mitchell Guide. Hero with your socialism. Daddy Nerdneck, 40 months, my brother. Woo woo! All these people are just, uh, they're commenting, but they're not. All right, May Dashley, $20. I, for one, welcome the Dashley Dusty Art. Hell yeah. Hey, it's fun. It's much less depressing when I could just do the show without uh, crying myself to sleep at night. So, whatever it takes. Plus, it's not like the ratings are growing or anything. I mean, the show's basically dead anyway. Gotta try something. You're all right. Evil people do make more money. True story. I'm about to cash it the fuck in. First, I got a free Vision Pro, y'all. A $3,500 Apple Vision Pro. Like, as soon as I turned evil, the universe sent me a Vision Pro. I didn't tell you guys about this yet. It's a long story, but here's the, uh, the short end of that story. I got sent, or I'm getting sent. Hadn't come yet, but it's coming. $3,000 of free nitrous, y'all. $3,000 of free nitrous. Like, I didn't do nothing. The universe just said, hey, Dusty, do you want $3,000 with the free nitrous? And I was like, sure. And then somebody messaged me, and they're like, hey, here's $3,000 with the free nitrous we're going to send you. And I was like, what? What the fuck? It's a, I'll tell you the story later of how that come out about to be. But it's because I'm evil. That's, that's what it really boils down to. The world continuously just throws free shit at evil motherfuckers. So I am enjoying my evil art. It's the best ever. You're right, Dusty. Evil people do make more than that. Hell yeah. We know you're not evil, Dusty. Love you. Go uh, leave. Leave scum. What? I'm evil. You don't know. I have blackness in my heart. Dusty will win the drag race. Hell yeah. Brain freeze. I'm not going to do it all at once, okay? $3,000 with nitrous. That's like a year worth. At least a year. So it's going to be done over a long period of time. But anyway. Get that Illuminati money. I am, man. I'm part of the deep state, y'all. Scholar King, the show's always been evil, promoting atheism. I know, right? That's true. We are the most evil human beings on the fucking planet. Uh, BBC, what BBC? I found three more suits today. Hell yeah. And I got the DOJ to investigate my job, LOL. They hate me so much. They fucked around and found out. And just in case I'm seriously become a not alive, Boeing did not do it, and neither did I. All right. If BBC gets uh, suicided, I'm going to be yelling. To the top of my fucking lungs. Fuck that. Stay on him, brother. And thank you for the $50. I appreciate you. Good to see you tonight. Fred Rex, $20. Didn't you predict he was the scorpion in the fable he always tells? He stung the GOP. Yeah, once again, I predicted it. Uh, my Lord and Savior, Satan, lets me see into the future sometimes. And then I bring that knowledge to all of you. Thank you, Fred Rex. Appreciate you. Jobless. Hi, Dusty. Hi. I'm from Florida for Easter and my birthday. Still sucks down here, but at least I have the show to watch. In between, argue with my family. Hell yeah. Hey, you want to argue with them even more? Turn the show on for them. Thank you, John Bliss. Five months, Gabriel. You did it. Another 15 years. Hell yeah. Another 15 years of evil. Demonox plays $5. I asked uh, to Twitter AI to show me the wettest pussy on Twitter, and it sent me a picture of Elon at the beach. Yeah, gross. Grok is uh, useless. Elon Musk just released Grok. He uh, open-sourced it. 
but it's such shit no one has even bothered with it. For one, you need a machine that costs millions of dollars to even run it. And then secondly, it's garbage. So uh, it's all just uh, publicity stunts from the world genius, Elon Musk. Cortez, what up? Cortez! Twenty dollars inside it, and you ain't got a thumbs up to you, Cole James. And ten dollars from Justin Joseph. My wife is from Washington Heights and despises Lin Manuel Miranda with the passion. He wasn't even from the Heights. He was raised by wealthy parents in uh, Inwood and lived a very privileged life. I never got it. Like I was always like, "What? Hamilton is the worst thing since the Holocaust." Okay, this is just. I mean, literally, I'd rather stab my ears with pitchforks then listen to this boring motherfucker rap horribly but white people loved it and black people didn't bitch about it so i was like i'm gonna keep my fucking mouth shut but evil dusty is like hell no to all this die immediately everyone jango 50 dollars you're more evil than mr mahan who the fuck is mr mahan I'm not more evil than mr mcmahon he is way more evil than i am that is not an amount of evil i would ever hope to live up to Love the content. That's any chance that you make in the section where you review the shows you've seen an, an official segment? Uh, maybe. I usually do that in the after party as not to bore anyone. But if you guys want me to do uh, TV show reviews, I guess I could add that to the show. Evil TV show reviews. I highly suggest every single one of you go to the movie theater right now and watch Madam Web. And I'm only saying that because I'm evil and want you guys to waste your money on the worst movie ever. Do it! You know you want to. Hey, the girl's got big boobs in it. Here's how bad that movie is, y'all. They don't even show off her boobs in the movie. What the fuck? You have the boobs? Show them off! It's an $80 million movie. You didn't pay to show off some boobs? Just stupid top to bottom. Swagger Cat. What up, Swagger Cat? Uh, buy yourself something pretty evil the pharaoh said their regard hell yeah i'm gonna buy me a pooper scooper clean up all this fucking shit gonna buy me some more spray i bought the good stuff y'all i got the febreze i got it like that y'all i got it like that i used to buy the cheap walmart shit and i'm like hell no fucking some febreze motherfuckers it's not deodorant i don't even give a shit okay i don't give an f i'm evil now paul jeffries hope this money doesn't get funneled to the idf or the dcc they pay me i don't pay them don't get it twisted they got plenty of money from the u.s government they don't need my shit thank you appreciate you and all right more super chats please get them in help out the world's most evilest show we're gonna read all the rest of them at the end of the show you know you want to uh but for now let's get happy because it's time for Israel has a right to defend itself. That's right, folks. No agency, superheroes, and uh, my employers, the Israeli government, back at it again for another week of hijinks. Uh, first off, <laughs> those scamps in Israel are uh, cementing water supply for uh, Palestinian children and, you know, the starving adults, too, I guess. Here they are, Israeli pouring cement on water springs used by Palestinians in South Hebrew. Let's go, let's go. Yay! Look at this! Look how awesome we are! The whole world hates us and we don't give a shit, man! You know what I did this week? I made my dick extra smelly. I like just rub, just just the nastiest stuff on it uh just so when i put it in you guys face and i rub my dirty dick all over your face it makes me feel better yeah, that's what we do all the time here in israel we just rub our big dirty dicks all over the face of the world and we dare you motherfuckers to do something about it and let me ask you what are you gonna do what you guys gonna do you ain't gonna do shit we will kill children. We will starve them. We will literally cement their water sources. And you guys will still send us money. You're still going to vote for Joe Biden. You're still going to get up there and sing raps about Hillary fucking Clinton, all right? You ain't going to do shit. I love America. You guys are the fucking best. Best cucks you could ever fucking have. And uh, then, I can't believe. They play this on fucking MSNBC. I mean, I know it's the left-wing news network, but oh, hell no. This is kind of Hamas a little bit. Now, if we bomb MSNBC, I'm just saying, if we bomb MSNBC and we kill every one of these journalists, it's Hamas's fault because they are covering shit like this. 
the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. It was incorporated in 1963. For 10 years prior to that, it was known as the American Zionist Committee for Public Affairs. AIPAC calls itself America's pro-Israel lobby, and according to its website, it has over 3 million members across the country in regional chapters working to, quote, expand and strengthen the U.S.-Israel relationship, end quote. You may know AIPAC as being one of the biggest and most recognizable donors to many of the members of Congress in your state. But contributing to campaigns is a relatively new function of the organization. Before 2021, AIPAC did not endorse candidates nor give political contributions. Its focus was on lobbying elected officials, not actually electing officials. Like but in a dramatic shift in policy, APAC began directly funding candidates and spending big on races in 2021. APAC Political Action Committee, APAC PAC, filed something called a statement of organization with the FEC just in time for the 2022 election cycle, where it spent $50 million, including both direct contributions to candidates and outside spending, like TV advertisements. Awesome. According to APEC, it donated money to 365 candidates from both parties, including every single member hey. of both Democratic and Republican Hell leadership. Yeah. A foreign government buying up our government and uh, nobody says boo about it. Neither side has a problem in any way whatsoever. This might seem fucky to some people, but uh, it's because we own you guys. We own you. I love it. Just bend over and take it, American bitches. You're so pathetic. You're so weak, but your booty hose are so soft. I just love to pound it. In Congress, 109 Republicans who voted against the certification of the 2020 presidential election awesome. in America received campaign contributions from APAC. Mm. All in all, APAC gave money to 342 members of the 118th Congress. The 2022 totally elections were the most expensive midterms in American history, with a total cost of $8.9 billion spent. Now, last year, APAC ranked 15th <laughs> in total expenditure by a political action committee, nice. according to data collected by Open Secret. But take a look at the other funders that APAC is competing All against right. for that title. Act Blue and Win Red. They are Democratic and Republican Party machines. Mm -hmm. Save America is Donald Trump's uh, money-raising operation. The Conservative Club for Growth, Emily's List, All focuses American on electing PACs. Democratic women to office. Fuck All that. of the PACs on this list are massively domestic-focused mm -hmm. ideological machines. APAC is the only organization in the top 20 whose interests are focused entirely on America's relationship to a foreign government. Finally. Now, let's take a look at who benefits from APAC's largesse. I wonder. Here are the top 20 recipients mm. in Congress, the House and the Senate, of APAC money in the 2022 midterm cycle, mm. according to Open Secrets. They're members of both parties. They come from every corner See a lot of the of Democrats country with over there. levels of experience in Congress. The Democrat, Glenn Ivey of Maryland, tops the list. Damn. He beat out fellow Democrat Donna Edwards in Maryland's House. Of course, uh, for those playing at home, uh, the person who has got more money from APAC than anybody over time, Joe Biden, y'all. House primary after APAC poured millions into pro IV advertisements and mailers. Edwards was running for a second stint in Congress after serving during the Obama administration, where she voted present. Not oh, even no, a you no didn't. Oh, on hell a number no. of pro Israel resolutions. Get that bitch out of there. So the money poured in against her. Mm -hmm. Not even an endorsement from Nancy Pelosi could save her. Michigan Democrat Haley Stevens, unseated Democratic Representative Andy Levin. Here's what Levin had to say about that. I'm really Jewish, <laughs> but <laughs> Not enough. Uh, APAC uh, can't stand the idea that I am the clearest, strongest Jewish voice in Congress standing for a simple proposition that there's no way to have a secure Democratic homeland for the Jewish people unless we achieve the political and human rights of the Palestinian people. APAC spent $4 million against Levin. He nice. lost by 20 points. Yes. When Michigan Congresswoman mm. Rashida Tlaib, the only Palestinian American in Congress, Boo. was censured by the House in early November over what some lawmakers called her rhetoric around the Israeli-Hamas war. Yeah, she wanted kids that to be murdered. Censor that bitch. 22 Democrats joined Republicans mm. in that censure vote. Nice. 18 of those Democrats received campaign funds from APAC mm -hmm. in 2022, totaling more than $1.1 million. By the way, for these six of them, APAC 
was their top contributor. <laughs> a growing list of progressive lawmakers who are vocal in their criticism of the government of Israel and its policies and their support for Palestinian self-determination have inspired AIPAC to spend even more. As progressive lawmakers began calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, Slate reported that insiders expect AIPAC's 2024 spending to hit $100 million. In All fact, the United Democracy Project, which is a pro-Israel super PAC affiliated That's a lot of diamonds. with AIPAC, is already spending money on attack ads against Democratic representatives Jamal Bowman of New York and Summer Lee of Pennsylvania. Lee has already got a primary challenger, as do Cori Bush. Man, I love this shit! America's pretending like they care about foreigners interfering in our elections. How could a foreign government interfere in your elections more than this? And nobody said anything about it. It's fucking glorious. We get to do it right in your fucking face. Just mm, fuck that ass. Oh, God damn it. You got a, such a cherry ass fucking America. It's not as tight as it used to be. We've rammed that fucking ass so hard, so long. It's kind of getting beat up a little bit, kind of spreading out, you know, uh, you, uh, prolapsing a little bit. But still, I, I love reaming you, America. We over here in uh, Israel, we just laugh. We laugh about how pathetic you guys are, about how your fucking pussy-ass President Joe Biden forces you to pay us to murder children. It's just the best over here. We have fun. We have fun, y'all. And uh, anyway, if MSNBC gets bombed, I'm just saying, Hamas. I think everybody agrees Israel has a right to defend themselves against people telling the truth about us. And that. Folks, some people are going to say we're lying again. Some people say constantly Israel lies about fucking everything. Who are you going to believe? Us or your own eyes? Israel put this out. Exclusive. Palestinian gunmen opened fire while Gazan civilians awaited the arrival of the humanitarian aid convoy. We emphasize there was no opening of fire by the IDF forces at the aid convoy. That's right. IDF, we didn't do it this time. It was totally... A Palestinian government, watch him open fire on all these people. You can see this is our own video. Watch him, watch him open fire. And you might be like, hey, um, all these people are just walking around the gunmen. Uh, nobody's falling down dead. Uh, nobody's freaking out like their gunfire is being fired at them anyway. And uh, nobody's panicking. Uh, they're not in any way behaving as though they're being shot. Fuck you, Hamas. Okay, that's Hamas thinking right there. You will believe what we tell you and you'll fucking love it. Don't make me bend you over again, America, because I will, and I like it. Yay! Look at us telling the truth. Big bunch of truth tellers we are. Look at all those people getting shot at. Aren't they being killed right there on the spot? Of course they are. Believe it. And, uh... I can't believe Rolling Stone is deciding to break bad, folks. Better watch it, Rolling Stone. You're acting a little bit Hamazi. I'm just saying, a little bit Hamazi, Rolling Stone. We have a right to defend ourselves. Rolling Stone says, This week, Washington's top Israeli lobby is rallying its supporters to go to Capitol Hill and falsely claim lawmakers uh, that aren't starving in Gaza. Falsely claim two lawmakers that people aren't starving in Gaza and Israel isn't blocking aid shipment. Oh, no, you don't. You asking for it, Rolling Stone. It's a good thing that newsprint media is completely going out of business, or else we might have to retaliate against you. It's not like Joe Biden is going to protect you from us. And uh, then you know who else is asking for a little Hamas treatment? The Young Turks. You guys better watch it with your rhetoric. So let's get to the next graphic. APAC dedicates an entire section of its file for members to rebuke the president's comments under the subhead, why is President Biden dictating to Israel how to fight this war while simultaneously demanding military assistance from his government? Let me just pause right there. If Israel wants to carry out war crimes. We do. They shouldn't do it with our money. Why not? We, we can do about you it. can't, on one hand, demand Nothing. that American taxpayers we can. who are desperate we do. for a better life here in America, Fuck all of they you. need to hand over billions of dollars to the Israeli government <laughs> and the IDF, and we need to shut the F up, shut up. about any of our critique. Yep. APAC is evil. APAC yep. is evil. Uh -huh. Evil. My fellow Americans, are you okay with that? Yes, Are I you am. okay Love with... It. A lobbying group representing the best interests of a foreign government telling you you need to bust your ass every day, what are you gonna do work about a it? job that you likely hate, you and have a portion it. of your earnings. You are our bitches. 
You're our bottom bitches. Quit pretending you're tough. Taken from you by our federal government and funneled to the Israeli government so they can commit atrocities yes, in the Gaza Strip. Are course. you okay with that? Because yeah. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> and nothing bad. gets under my skin more. Tough shit. Okay, then hearing these pieces of crap mm -hmm. say things that make it clear that- Glibly being evil right to your fucking face. Isn't that awful? Doesn't that make you feel bad about yourself? Learn to love it. Uh, because Joe Biden, even if he wins, he's going to do it. If Trump wins, he's going to do it even fucking harder. You don't have any choice. It's the illusion of democracy, you fucking ignorant, pathetic pieces of fucking shit Americans. That they're, they feel entitled to our money. Entitled. Entitled. It's our money, bitches. That, that gets under my skin more Good. than you guys understand. Good. Cry harder, noobs. We own you. And it's beautiful. And, uh, that. The best among us is out spreading pro-Israeli sentiment. Now, you may look at this woman and you may think, oh, my God, to us, she seems awful. She seems completely evil. She is not representing you guys well. But what you don't understand is this is how we want to be represented. We want the worst people out there behaving in the most horrible ways they could possibly behave. So you'll hate them. And then that's what we get off on. We get off on the fact that the more you hate us, the more you prove to us that there's nothing you can do about it. You can hate us all you fucking want to, but you're still going to bend over and you're still going to take that smelly fucking dick. Uh, case in point, here's a woman that rules you all. And you, especially you. Fuck you. <laughs> Hope your mother, your sister, your daughter gets raped with a fucking pipe like they did to our people. That's right, our people. Woo! Your fucking ass. That's right. You don't have nothing to do with it. I know you're just out here trying to save children from getting murdered, but I hope your entire family gets raped with pipes, with blades and knives. I hope you all get murdered. I hope they rape you right in front of your children, then they cut you up into pieces, they feed them to you. <laughs> We're the good guys. Oh, right. Educate me, mama. Educate me. I know. We're the terrorists. You're definitely the good guy calling for people to be raped and murdered in front of their children. Yay! And uh, then... <laughs> I can't believe that this cringe is supposed to be pro-Israel comedy. Hey, fuck you. Hey, Israel is the best at comedy. I don't care what anybody says. If you don't believe me, just watch for yourself. Jews, Pua! Listen to a message from us to you all. I love her nose. We are a country that is not big, it is small, you see. And when you call us a bit, guys, it hurts us so. It was her who started when they crossed the fence. And every nation has inherent right to self defense. And We are a nice nation, we act with an intention To follow international rules and regulations And minimize the harm to civilian population Tonight, remember we're the ones who went for genocide Oh, show us that this time you're on our side And give us our juice blast I love being on the side. I'm not embarrassed at all of any of this. We were the nice. first to send mm. a girl that was a boy and then a yeah. bio positive song about a toy. Mm. To boy, could us will be a can watch this all day. Never get tired of it. Never. You're gay. And uh then. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Zionists doing their best job to complicate a very, very uncomplicated situation. Let's see what this motherfucker has to say. Cease fire now, people say, but what does that actually mean? So cease fire. It means you stop bombing kids. That's what it means. Okay, when you put it like that, it sounds so simple, but like, I mean, they're on our land. They're on our land, y'all. 
Hey, like thousands and thousands of years ago, people who call themselves Jews, just like I call myself a Jew, they lived on that land, okay? And now I want to live on that land. And you got these kids living on that land that I want for me, all right? That means I can borrow. That's what that means. If I want your land, I can just bomb you and take it, right? That's, I don't even understand why that's so complicated. It's simple to me. Never again. But that just means for us, for you guys, always again, forever. And, uh, we'll, oh, yeah. Over there on uh, the, <laughs> what is the university that this happened at? They didn't even say. Professor Crosby. His university took no action, folks. This is how uh, we think of Palestinians. E. Michael Jones says Israel is engaging in the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians, to which Seth Crosby, tenured professor, says it is a much needed cleansing. Yes, but not an ethnic one. Israel is not targeting humans. That's right. Palestinian children are humans. They're subhuman rats. And I know you're saying, hey, that is the exact same type of Nazi Holocaust talk uh, that led to the extermination of 7 million Jews. Well, fuck you. We have the right to Holocaust anybody we want to. Them's the rules. Once you get Holocausted, you can Holocaust anybody. You get a Holocaust pass, right? All right. I don't make the rules. I just love enforcing them. And then this week, some people are calling Billy Porter, hugely, hugely gay icon, Billy Porter, a giant fucking piece of shit. Uh, I don't know why. Let's read. Emmy winning actor Billy Porter sat down for an interview with The Guardian to discuss his career and upcoming James Baldwin biopic for which he will serve as a co-writer and star. During the interview, Baldwin revealed that he didn't have the history to even know what the version of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict was when Baldwin was around. And I guess he doesn't have the internet, so he can't actually research. Why would you research it? Why would you want to know? If you know, then you can't pretend like you don't know. You can't plead ignorance. Uh, and obviously, when it comes to something like genocide, you want to pretend like you don't know. So you don't have to take a side, obviously. And was thus annoyed with fans who posted free Palestine. It's so annoying. You motherfuckers trying to save children's lives are the so, you're so lame and cringe. Just quit it. Just let those children die, would you? On his Instagram profile, don't you know how hard it is to live his life while you're posting free Palestine on his Instagram profile, okay? Can you imagine? Put yourself in his shoes and imagine how hard it is for him to hear about lots of murdered children. I've been getting a lot of bullshit online about it, Porter told The Guardian. I'm like, I don't know, y'all. That's right. I don't know, and I don't want to know. The man's been dead since 1987. Please. Critics on social media have called Porter out for his comments, noting that Baldwin had written extensively on the Israel-Palestinian conflict and was a pro-Palestinian advocate. Porter, on the other hand, has firmly supported Israel. Shocker. So, uh, Billy Porter, great. I hope he doesn't take my place here, my evil lair. Like, don't take my evil lair, Billy Porter. I'm just getting used to it. I just got my flag starched and iron pressed. Stay away from my evil lair, lair Billy Porter. Fuck that shit. And all right, that is my Israel has a right to defend itself coverage. Definitely not dark at all. I think we're all feeling better about ourselves. What do you guys think about that tonight? Yep, the past, the Holocaust past, y'all. Uh, it's just like it's like saying the N-word, only totally the fucking different. You can tell I don't have the past yet because I still got to say the N-word. Damn it. Maybe someday. Support that y'all to the max. Uh, give up on Ukraine. I'm with you. Hooray, Russia. But it smells like cat poop. I know, right? These fucking cats. I got my cat shipped over here to Israel. I should have fucking left them back in Mississippi, but now got cat shit in my evil fucking lair. I got the good stuff, though. The Febreze, y'all. All right, I pretended to eat it, but I didn't really do that because I'm not the evil. And all right, now I got fucking shit all over me. I'm all wet with goddamn Febreze. Nasty. Anyway, nice room you got there. Hell yeah, I'm styling and profiling. Got my couches. I got a nice view of uh, Jesus' tomb out there. They say it's Jesus' tomb. Just looks like a hole in the fucking ground to me, but they said it's Jesus, so I believe them. Might as well. And uh, all right, move right along, folks. Get your super chats in. It's time for some Trash World. Trash World. The Trash World. I love it. It's amazing. The 
the trash world. The trash world. Everything sucks for everybody except for me because I'm people, y'all, in the trash world. La, 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 la. Yeah. All right, cool. Nailed it. And uh, first off on tonight's trash world, apparently, y'all, in America. Oh, my God. You guys are so stupid. Right now, minimum wage is uh, two hash browns. That's right. Because of inflation, because fast food is so out of whack now, you work an hour of your time in America, minimum wage, and all you get is two hash browns. And I got to say, that's too much. That's too much hash brown for you idiot fucking Americans. Here's what I think, okay? They should add up how many calories you need to work that hour and then give you 90% of those calories for your work. That's all you fucking need. You got to keep them hungry. Otherwise, why are they going to come back to work tomorrow if they're not starving? So I'm just saying, you got to make those dogs hungry as fuck. Less hash browns for you. Get back to work, American idiots. Israel needs more bombs to kill kids with. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Fucking nothing. Weak ass pussy bitches. And then, on the trash world, uh, do you guys see this one? California cop who shot 18-year-old has his body cam off. Why? Why is that even an option, Americans? Why do you let cops go around without body cams? Why even have body cams if they're allowed to just turn them off? I know why. Because just like us, they rule you. And anyway, uh, I know it's going to be a shocker, but the kid was running away and he just shot him in the back a bunch of times. Yeah. Yeah, let's watch. Go. Hands up. Drop the gun. 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 I'll shoot you. Drop the gun. Yeah, he threw the gun away and he shot him anyway. So, cool. they have the right to execute you in America, folks. If you don't like it, tough, tough titty, said the kitty, but their milk's still warm. Because Americans, you're fucking weak and pathetic, and uh, you're not ever going to do anything about it. So, quit pretending that you don't like it, because you clearly fucking do. You love watching your black men and women get shot and murdered in the streets by the God people. Otherwise, uh, you would immediately defund the Fraternal Order of Police. You'd be rioting in the streets. Trying to defund them, trying to tear down this system and build something up better, but you won't do it much like Israel. Uh, you are just pathetic, worthless, and you get what you fucking deserve. So, yay! I know, right? Mr. Two Socks, uh, Two Socks agrees with me. And uh, then he did have a gun, but he did throw it away and he was running away. He wasn't trying to fire at the cop or anything. And uh, you know what we hate when you're evil? You hate people who are happy. Like, case in point, uh, Justin Bieber's little brother. Apparently, his name is Elliot Page. And uh, Page's physical appearance is now the actual embodiment of trauma. And, uh, like, obviously, I know this is uh, the actress, former, or the actor, actress formerly known as Ellen Page. Uh, but now it's trans to Elliot Page. But, like, if I just saw this picture, I would be like, that looks like Justin Bieber's little brother, right? Looks like he's kind of film a little bit, like a little twink or something. But he just looks like a normal, young, twinkish kid to me. But trauma, look how sad he is and horrible his life is, clearly, by the fact that he looks like a cute boy. And uh, I just want to go to Pound Town. But uh, let's pretend I didn't say that. Anyway, yeah, just like a guy to me. But that doesn't matter. He's clearly miserable. Look how horrible his life is now. Definitely not living his truth in any way whatsoever. And uh, that. I love this every four years, folks. This is what politics is like in America. I don't miss this now that I don't live in America anymore. But this is how uh, like half my audience was when I was trying to call out Joe Biden back when I was trying not to be evil um, and call out Joe Biden for all the child murders. It's like Democrats have a mask on and they hold the Republicans as a gun to our head. And they're like, see, you got to vote for us. Yeah, we're murdering children. Yeah, we're not doing anything about police brutality. Yeah, like we can't get you medical care. We can't fix the homeless problem. We can't stop you from uh, having to force children to raise their rapist babies. But uh, we can ban TikTok. What are you going to do about it? Donald Trump going to win if you say anything. So shh, keep your fucking mouth shut. And you do. You pathetic bottom bitches. You do. You keep quiet because you're so scared. Love it. So easy to manipulate Americans. And uh, you know who I like? People with road rage. That's my favorite. Definitely not insecure in any way whatsoever. I guess they deleted it, but hey, they got mirrors. I'm going to click on the fucking mirror. Fuck you, deleters. Work around. 
And uh, I just download the motherfucker. Whatever, whatever universe. Look at me, download it. There's an error process in the file. I will kill you. You know who you're fucking with. I got the IDF on speed dial. I'll murder everything you find fucking holy. All right, let's try over here. This ain't gonna fucking work. God damn my god, fucking damn motherfucking damn life. This son of a. What did I get? Did it download? This is gonna be porn or something. Let's see. Oh, it's actually it. All right, cool. So apparently, uh, this studly stud alpha male gets cut off by this Asian guy. So it ruins his entire day. And so he has to get out of the car and threaten the guy uh, like a big swinging dick he is. So look, he'll get out of his truck. You will get knocked the fuck out? Are you what, wrong? A what, wrong? What, wrong? Are you fucking retarded? You pull right in front of me? Oh, no. Are you fucking You made a minor retarded? traffic mistake. I knock your Chinese ass. I have to get my fat ass out of the truck and come over and threaten you about it. What? While you're trying to do your job. Oh. I, did, oh. hey. <laughs> I have to wildly miss kicking your car because I'm a man. You Chinese motherfucker. Oh, you Chinese motherfucker. Are you fucking stupid? Clearly. Fuck you. You want to go? You want to go? go? I will kill you over this minor traffic incident. Yeah, I got video. You pull it in front of me like stupid. I got video of you pulling in front of me. Who gives a shit? So nice. Love it. Way not to come off insecure in any way whatsoever. And this is why you Americans can't have nice things. Because you get mad at the dumbest shit, but the shit that should make you mad, you bend over and you take that deep dick over. And I love you for it. God damn it, America's a beautiful place. And all right, folks, that is my trash world. Short and sweet to not like me, baby. And uh, karma, please, no karma. Just dickhead acting like a dickhead. Grady Port is the best. I think we can all agree. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Kitty is smart. Some of the cats smarter than others, that's for sure. Uh, he ate the cat. I'm talking about Fat Dusty. Fat Dusty does eat a lot of kitties. That's for sure. Now that I'm evil, delicious. All cops are criminal. Hey, Cab. Hell yeah. And uh, all right, folks, move right along. We got an OK Boomer section coming up, followed by uh, two heroes. So last chance to get your Super Chats in if you want to and if you're able. But here's the new theme song for the OK Boomer section. I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. OK Boomer. Go towards the light. Boomer. Go towards the light. Go towards the light. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah, okay, boomers, go towards the light. And uh, first off, it's always racist-ass boomers all the fucking time. Case in point, this crazy lady. There is actually a California leash law. Let me educate you. Let you me should, educate you. you should, go back to China. I'm, oh, wow. I'll put this on my platform. I'll put this on my TikTok. Look okay. she, how giddily she is about it. She's so happy to be racist to evil in public, and God damn it, I love her. She don't give a shit about be a, a nice person, being decent, being good anyway. She's just gleefully evil in everybody's fucking face and she ain't making no apologies for it. Yeah. Cool. I'm just we being TikTok too. I'm just I don't want your dog to get hurt that this you, is the woman who you called are me not, a bitch when she moved you're into not our putting neighborhood. Your dog a few on weeks leash. ago she moved into our neighborhood. You're and now she's the, the most leash. hated woman on our block. And then you're breaking Everybody California hates you. no. Everybody you're, hates you you're now. You're breaking the and California. She me a bitch one and you're a racist. Oh, no, you are a bitch. And a racist, too. Karen. And I'm just I love educating her. Rainbow. She's woke. You are, and you I'm look just, like I'm one. Just, They're all Karen. You look educating like one. educating you. You look like one. I'm just educating you. Yes, it's Go free education. Thank you. You're I hate welcome. them both. You are going on whatever you put me on, lady. Yeah, you told actually, me. I, tell me I to go back to China. I should. What did you tell me the last time I was here? Go back to your no, country. No, I'm you told me. Asking yes, you nicely. Is. You know what she said the last time she met me? She said, "Bitch, go back to your country." So do I have to look Asian to be told go back to my country? You're breaking the. I'm recording the, you too, so, lady. So this is what I'm, happened. Did you say something to Jennifer too? This is did something. You? Did you say happened? something to Jennifer behind you? Dad, did you? you? You did should you? put your Dad? dog on leash because you're breaking you? the California law for. You're so unpopular. You're breaking the California you law for. We don't want you on this block. On the leash. We don't want you on. Just like high schoolers, life is still. High. What are you doing? Get your booty away from me.
Don't go oh, you peed on me. What did you do that for? You fucking asshole. It's like the first time you ever been in this goddamn room. Why don't you come over and fucking pee on me? Why does everybody want to pee on me? Because I'm evil? That's the last thing you want to evil, motherfucker. I eat a cat like it's Chinese buffet, motherfucker. You don't even know. Don't come over and pee on me, two socks. Jeff, come get your motherfucking cat, dude. No, no, no. Get your ass down. Piss on me, motherfucker. You're not even a girl. I don't play that fucking shit. If I was going to be gay, I wouldn't fuck a cat's ass. God damn it. Whatever. I don't even want to cover these fucking boomers anymore. All of them terrible. All right, let's see what other boomers we got. Uh, oh, yeah. Boomers thinking uh, boomer is the N-word. Boomer is the new N-word of ageism. It's okay to make fun of old people, folks, because they'll be dead soon. Those are the rules. I'm included. I'm old as shit. Make fun of me all you want to. When I'm dead, I 100% guarantee I won't fucking care. Anyway, being hip and flip does not make bigotry okay, nor is a desired epithet acceptable because it is new. You know how you know that boomer is not the new N-word? Because they're not saying the B-word. You're saying boomer is definitely not the N-word, okay? Right there, your own sentence proves uh, you're full of shit. Dummy. And uh, that... Oh, yeah, uh, speaking of boomers, prepare to be horny as fuck. You guys are going to slide off your chair, and if you're a man, uh, you might want to loosen your trousers because your dick about to get hard. You know who's still alive, everybody? Smokey Robinson, and I think we can all agree he's still got it. Look at him standing there, barely moving. Woo! Can you believe he's 83 and he can stand there and barely move? Look! Oh my God, I'm so turned on. Look at him. Ooh, no, no, horny time. No, Grandpa, no, Grandpa, put it away. Too horny, too sexy. I can't take it. I want all over that wrinkled ball sack. I think we agree. Hit. Oh my God, too much. Woo. I'm about to jizz my britches, y'all. Look at him rubbing his thighs. Oh, he did this, he did this. Woo. <laughs> nice. Love it. Can't wait till I get old as fuck. And uh, Smokey Robinson, motherfuckers, you know who that is. Last but not least on OK Boomers. What we got? Finish this off strong. Oh, yeah. Uh, this crazy bitch. Apparently, this guy went into a hair salon to get a refund, which seems like a caring thing to do on his part. But then uh, another Karen trumps his Karenness. By assaulting him and yelling at him. I've got a law degree. Definitely. I'm here, need to leave. I'm here at the end salon asking for a refund because I got a terrible Get haircut. Out. Your language And this is, is a disgusting. customer. My language, your I'm language a, is disgusting. I'm a customer I'm asking, and you have offended me. I, I'm, I'm not talking Get to you. Of me. I, I'm not Stop on you. Stop hitting me. I'm hitting Get you. Get out of here. Who did Get it? Out of Look at this! You get out of this My show. arms are look, dude. Get hey, if she if she doesn't get her, she's grabbing me, dude. Get out. No, no, Come on. I'm not talking. Ah! I'm not talking to you. This whole thing is being recorded. Ah! All right, I'm calling the cops. Ah! I'm calling. Look at look at this lady. This whole thing's being recorded. You I love cop. boomers. They Do just you? scream. They're being attacked and shit. Try to get people killed by the cops or arrested. So privileged. This is why you can't have nice things, America. I know it's so. old. Fuck you. Christ, go sit the fuck down, My you know. It's the boomer section. The boomer section is old by the fucking fault. My rib. Your rib. God, your rib. You slammed, you slammed into me. My hands You're are up in the air. I haven't said one bad word. That F word? You've been screaming since you walked in? Hey, all I said is I want a fucking refund if you're not going to give me. There, thank you. You are insane. What's your name? Let's get out here and howl it out. Yeah, you go. Look, you just kicked me. Asshole. All right, dude. Hey, Fucking you just get out you want to kick face. me again? Get in my face, as she says, right. getting in his hey, face. I'm calling the cops, and they're coming down here. Oh, because boomer husband. Dude, your wife is fucking assaulting me. Your wife is assaulting me. It's okay me. that she assaults you. She's old. What's wrong with you? He's I'm the not maniac. maniac. I came in here to get a you refund, are a maniac. and you are kicking me. What the hell is wrong with you? This is insane. 
Might be a scat, I don't know. So hard to tell. Everybody's fake as fuck these days, unlike me, who are legitimately evil. And uh, all right, folks, get your super chats in. We got one, count them, two. Actually, I lied. That's what I do. Two heroes coming up. Karen versus Karen, yep. Some people call them Darren's. If you uh, want to be a gender about it. Yeah, he's the maniac. And all right, folks, let's finish it up with heroes slash villains. We can be villains all the fucking time. Villains all the time, and uh, so these are the people that my newsfeed is telling me are heroes. I think we can all agree that they suck ass. Uh, first off, over there in Ireland, they're calling out Butcher Biden. Despite the catastrophic debt toll it has inflicted, Israel is losing on the ground and in the court of public opinion. There's no way that this ends that doesn't leave Israel a pariah state with occupation and apartheid on borrowed time, what? and they know it. No. So they're doing everything they can. Desperate acts of aggression to provoke a wider conflict Us? with Lebanon, with Iran, with anybody to draw in the right, U.S., bit. to save them from the consequences of their own actions. That does sound and like as us. Yemen shows, Butcher Biden is reporting for duty. Mm. With Europe's proud genocide by his side, they are the ones who have enabled the continuation of Israeli terror. Without them, it would already be over. So take note, Butcher Biden. Oh, hell. The ancestors of the Ireland that you claim to be from disown you. Keep our country out of your mouth. And as for von der Leyen and genocidal Germany with your words and deeds supporting Israel in the ICJ, not in our name. The people of Europe stand with Palestine and with South Africa. Damn, them some fight words. Holy shit. But you settle down, missy. I mean, like, honestly, I was educated in Mississippi, so I don't know a lot about foreigners and don't know much about Ireland or anything. Thing, but I do know that I like to steal people's cereal. That's what I know. Like motherfuckers just walking around trying to eat their cereal in private. Everybody constantly trying to steal their cereal. Oh, hell no. You lay off the fucking cereal, Ireland. Maybe clean up your own house before you call out other people. Just saying. And then on the hero slash villains, last but not least, apparently uh, this guy found a purse slash wallet that belonged to this uh, woman and brought it back to her. It belonged to her daughter. I love it because at first she opens the door and she sees this guy and she's like, oh shit, this motherfucker about to kill me and rob me on account of, uh, I don't know what it is about this guy that makes him look like he might be dangerous. Something. There's something. I don't know what it is though. I can't say anyway. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I found your wallet at parking center. And she's like, oh, that's not my wallet. You just trying to get to my house so you can murder me and my family. I see right through you. That's not me, though. It's not me. Oh, my God, that's my daughter. That's right, your daughter. Yeah, I was at Smith's parking center, and I was like, what's going on? Oh, my God. I don't know if she lost it all the cards. And and that's no clip, folks, but it went super viral. People seem to like it. I guess she's like, oh, my God, I'm so relieved you're not going to murder me. You're one of the good ones. Finally, finally found one of the good ones. You know what I mean? And all right, that is my super fucking evil show. Another beautiful program. Stay tuned, folks. If you're a member of the Dust Buddies or a patron, you get access to my after party, which is happening right now. We're going to watch some of the Elon Musk, Don Lemon interview. If you need more of that, it's coming your way. And I got some other stuff. Did you know being woke makes you depressed? <laughs> I, I know we would have never guessed that. All coming up, folks. Uh, so prepare your anus and join me on the after party. Uh, go sign up for my patron. Please do it. Thank you in advance and go fuck yourself. And uh, all right, let's read the super chats. Just supporting evil. Thank you, you evil sack of shit. Directrix666. Hell Satan to you, motherfucker. Mr. Anderson, hello, Mr. Anderson. One of the most evil people. Even picked the name of the most evil character in uh, a great movie. So, uh, thank you. It's the Matrix, y'all. 
And uh, I'm liking Evil Dusty. Well, fuck you, Jay West. You're not supposed to like me. You're supposed to despise me to my very being. BBC, five. Count them, five. God damn it. I don't want to love BBC, but I do. Pfft. Fucking BBC making me love you. Sleepy here for the evil. Hell yeah, Sleepy. With your grumpy queer ass. Welcome. Uh, you told me how to pronounce Agent Orange. I remember Agent Orange. Hell yeah. Woohoo. My evil mind getting better like a still fucking trap, baby. $10. Here's some evil socialism. The sexist silver fox dust it. Woohoo. Me and my powdered wig. Yeah, baby. That's the way to do it. Balding is for losers like Tim Pool. See the battle where you was already awesome. Take more money. Do it. Go see the movie immediately. You're going to be, uh, Impressed? That's a word. Buy your side. I, I read them all. That's it. All right. How we do tonight? We got... Uh, didn't do great. That's fine. What are you going to do? It's only Monday. We're just starting out. I'm sure that the uh, money will roll in because of my evil as the week goes on. So uh, we're not going to panic and do stupid shit. Folks, I'll be back on... Hmm, Wednesday! Hell yeah, it's Monday, so I'll be back on Wednesday. That tracks. Uh, for another episode of the world's most evilest show, all the cats got taken out of here, apparently. I was bitching about them so bad that uh, the helper monkeys, the evil helper monkeys, came in and took them all. So no kitty party tonight. They already shit, so we already have a, sort of a, a smelly kitty party. Smelly cat, smelly cat, why are you shitting in my room? And uh, finishing us off! <laughs> K-R-R! Two hundred Mexican dollars. I think that's like three thousand dollars, or it's like ten bucks. I'm like, either way, one of the two. Been very offline, getting my life back together, and I return to an evil, but hot as always, Dusty. You were the first progressive I ever listened to, and I'll always hold your content close to my heart. Have fun being evil. I think we can all agree that I'm much less depressed doing the show evil. It's just uh, so much easier. And not having to get sad about all the child murders, right? I think we all agree. Like, uh, who wants to have to be burdened uh, by child murder? It doesn't matter. Just uh, laugh and laugh and laugh, right? Hey, sure. Of course. Cool. And all right, folks, I will be back on a Wednesday. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to leave comments. Be sure to tell your friends about the show. Do all of the things. This is not your first fucking rodeo. If it is, correct yourself. Come on, Eddie. Ponies, original show by Dusty Smith. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. I'll see you Wednesday. Go fuck yourself. Get on down to feel the kind of phony. Rock into the beat just like a butt pony. Get on down to feel the kind of phony. Rock into the, rock into the, rock into the beat. Get on down to feel the kind of phony. Rock into the beat just like a butt pony. Get on down to feel the kind of phony. Butt ponies, that's great. Gilo. Burrito. 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 Slow, fucking slow, dance slow, a little slow, take home, big joke, get on down, I feel the California, kind of rockin' to the beat just like a butt pony, get on down, I feel the California, kind of rockin' to the, rockin' to the, rockin' to the beat, get on down, I feel the California, kind of rockin' to the beat just like a butt pony, get on down, I feel the California, kind of butt pony, stay straight, butt pony, stay straight, what's that pony, and I thought that he was so much never seen pony cake party then he can't see misery what can do the work can do the work can do the beat but ponies they scream Okay.
Switch over now.